everyone. So I have a uh, jet pens haul this time. Um, I was gonna film this video last week, but then I made another order, so I was like, okay, I'm gonna have to wait for the second order to come in, and it came in today. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So I will work on the first one that came in. So let's put this aside. So I finally ordered some stuff that I've been meaning to get. So let's go ahead and start with these two pens. So these are by, I want to say it's by Pilot. Now that I actually, hold on. Oh, I don't have my invoice. I want to say they're from Pilot maybe? Or no, 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 maybe they're from Sarasa. They are the B-L-E-N, Bleen. Let's see if you can see that. Oh, focus right there. So the purple one is point seven and then the green one is 0.5 i can't remember i know that um i was going to order everything mint green and then i thought you know what let me get the purple and i want to try the 0.5 and the 0.7 and i actually prefer the 0.7 um it writes smooth but the 0.5 i feel a little resistance when i write with it um i like the feel of holding these you know when i'm writing um but yeah, they don't glide as smoothly as I thought they would. But, you know, I'll still use them. Um, I did not get the refills for them yet. I just wanted to see how they were. So then the um, next thing I want to show are the friction stamps. I'd always wanted to order these, and then I finally just broke down and ordered them. Now, oh God, what happened to the case here? So I also ordered the cases that... Um, fit they had other designs but they only had the stars left by the time I decided to order stupid me waited until the last minute I could have got the ones with the hearts too so I'd have like two different you know designs so these are also erasable stamps and of course I don't have anything here hold on to stamp with um, but if you go to my Instagram by the time that this video is up, I should have uh, pictures of what they look like when they're stamped. So this is what each of them, each of the different stamps look like, okay? And I thought this would look really cute in my journal and in my Hobonichi. There was a couple of other ones that I wanted to get, but they were out of stock, so I might make another order. Actually, I am planning on making another order. <laughs> um, so yeah. Unfortunately, a lot of them came pink, which is like my one of my least favorite colors. But, you know, it is what it is. So I picked these up. These were $2 each, and the case, I think, was also $2. I can't remember. Okay. So um, I've been seeing some videos that have featured um, this preppy fountain pen. Um, if you guys follow um, Abby Sai. It's uh, S Y is the last name, how you spell it. Um, she had talked about these preppy fountain pens and how inexpensive they are, and they're really great quality. And um, when I went ahead and ordered, I wanted to try, you know, um, this one it was a limited edition version because of the design, okay, that's on there. Um, it's purple, and um, this came with black ink. I got the fine nib. Um, as you can see, the, what, they, what, I, what I heard was that these are stainless steel nibs. And, you know, I tried it and I actually like writing with this. More so than I like writing with the Lamy. Actually, I haven't really written with the Lamy lately because it's been sitting here on this table in the box. And so I need to really take it out and start using it. The only downside is that I didn't know that it came with blue ink. Um, I wish it came with black. But yeah, this is what they, you know, they look like together. And um, yeah, I'm really enjoying this. I've actually tried writing with this in the Hobonichi and yeah, it just works so great that this will probably be my Hobonichi pen. So I did pick up some um, extra ink. I got blue, I know, but it's blue, black and the violet, okay? So I might order some more backups. I know I could probably just um, do my own ink, like buy, you know, bottles of ink and stuff like that, but I don't want to get to that point yet. I'm 
I'm not that in I mean I'm not that really great with fountain pens yet so I bought another fountain pen this one um, I think this is also plat preppy platinum or whatever you call it this was um, I don't know if it's a limited edition but it's the 0.5 I guess this was fine it comes with blue black ink and this one costs more I haven't taken it out of the box yet I'm trying to remember why. I don't know if this is like limited edition or what. Um, all right, how do we take it out? Come on here. Try and, I haven't even taken pictures of these yet, so the last thing I want to do is like tear it up before I take the pictures. Yeah. I guess I do have to cut it up, but I'll just do it from the back. Wait a minute, I see now. And sorry for the sound of the air conditioner heater. I don't know what's really um, on. It's actually um, getting cold here. Tonight, I think it's gonna get down to the, uh, the upper 30s maybe. It'll be our first real like cold night. Um, today felt amazing outside because it was cool um, and there was like no moisture in the air so I like these kind of days and I got to wear a sweater because it's sweater weather so darn it I was gonna take it out but anyways you can go to my Instagram and look at the pictures once I do take it out but it's a, a really deep dark blue um, the the pen itself and I'm curious to see how it fares against the other platinum pre um, preppy so that is the first haul right there so the second one came in today okay um, I ordered actually some washi with this one but I did order one more stamp with a little uh, I can get it in focus there you go cat's paw in pink Ugh, I wish they would carry more colors aside from pink then I got this other um, this washi right here, which is by what? BGM, and it's a beautiful floral. Let's get in focus. Actually, let me get up closer. There we go. As you can see there. Um, let me see. I'll take it. Take it out of the wrapping. I'll have to do my swatches in my Hobonichi later so. there we go all right so this is what it looks like it's so pretty this will be perfect for spring I hope it's in focus look at that such a gorgeous floral and you get a decent amount you know um, So I've got, is it two or three? Three. I thought I had bought more than, maybe I took it out of the cart. So I have this bandy. Um, this one is labels, which I thought would look really cute. Um, you don't get a lot, as you can see. These are what the labels look like. Okay. Now it's funny because when I was in Tokyo Hands and, uh, where was that in Kyoto in Kyoto yeah um, I saw a lot of this you know this brand of washi and I was thinking oh gosh I'm gonna buy washi when I'm there it's gonna be cheaper turns out that the prices that you see here in the US like at jet pens or like um, the MTUS website are actually pretty much what they sell for in Japan so I was like wow I decided not to really buy a lot of washi because I didn't really have a lot of money and yeah so I got this one right here it's also by that same brand okay and these are cherry blossoms so I'll show you the one that you can just individually pull off I thought this will be also really nice for spring and then this one right here which it looks more like hydrangea and other flowers um, so pretty closer look once again great for spring and then the last washi I did get 
was an empty washi. So it's this one right here, which would be stationary, right? So I'm not gonna take this one out of the plastic, not yet, because I need to take pictures. So you got the, you know, the clipboard, just various clips, it looks like, and pens and just everything stationary. So I thought that one would be really cute. And this is 10 meters, so this you get a lot on this one, okay? Go back and focus. Okay, so then the last two, two things that I ordered were for Hobonichi. So I got, oh, there's my receipt. There, I got the um, A6, the cover on cover. So if I ever want to use the, um, the other, the spare cover that I have, I now can protect it. I hope that's not going to show in there. And then I also, I realized I didn't have an A6 um, pencil board. So I went ahead and got the Animal Crossing one um, for my A6. So this one I do plan on using. Um, I mean, it was pretty inexpensive, you know. So, yeah. I didn't have any of the black on black, I guess, or the black and pink pencil board, which I would have purchased instead of this, but hey, I mean, it wasn't that expensive. So there we go. That's my little um, jet pens haul. I'm probably making another freaking order <laughs> because there's some other things that I saw on the website. Plus I realized, you know what? I can get a fountain pen for my dad for Christmas. He um, used to have one, I remember, a long time ago. I don't even know where he's, where it is right now. I mean, if he still has it. Um, but I remember him using it growing up when he would sign checks in his checkbook. So I figure, because he still writes checks. Yeah, he still likes to pay his bills with a check and um i thought maybe he would want another um fountain pen you know to sign those checks so i might get him a platinum preppy let's see um i, I need to show him the one i have first and ask him if he would like one for christmas so yeah that's the haul oh let me show you one more thing because i don't know where to include it in one of my hauls but i ordered this um, I ordered it. I, I bought this from eBay. This is a Japanese vocabulary card set. I'd seen somebody on Etsy selling these. Can you believe 10 of these for like $3? 10 cards, okay? And I figured, you know what? Why don't I just go and get a whole set? So I looked on eBay and I was able to find somebody selling this for like 15 bucks. And, um, you know, at first I thought, oh, I can use them like, you know, in a junk journal. Or whatnot so but then once I got it I was like you know what maybe I'll just keep it and just learn Japanese this way <laughs> um, so yeah so then this is what it looks like right here so you would have like the words on the back with the I guess you know how to pronounce it with the kanji and then obviously in English right or yeah so yawn it isn't polite to yawn in front of other people and then um right there i'm not even going to try because i don't know how to pronounce so i thought these are really cute so um i don't know we'll see maybe i'll use them maybe i won't but yeah i just wanted to go ahead and show that so i can get that off of my desk here um and now it's been filmed <laughs> okay so um, that's the Jet Pins haul, and I hope everyone's had a great week. All right, bye.